Hey, welcome to my channel. Well, today we're going to review the H803 drone, and I don't say this often, but this thing is freaking awesome. I love this drone. Watch this video. All right, the Helifar H803. Well, we're going to take it for a little flight in my little tiny room here. This thing is a blast to fly. Like if you have you and your buddies around having some drinks, or you have a bunch of kids not drinking, uh, playing with this thing, you're going to have a lot of fun because uh, it just goes out of control, but it doesn't crash anywhere. <laughs> watch what I mean. Okay, watch this. This is funny. All right, so you can see what I'm doing. I've got my GoPro hat, which I'm going to stick on now and uh, go check out the drone. First thing to notice, in honor of this little kid dressed in pink, having fun with the drone, I have set my lights to pink and to pink. So uh, that's probably one of the few times you'll see them pink, unless it's Easter. So here we go. We have the Helifar right here. Let's just power it on. This is so neat. All you do is attach the battery. You get seven minutes flight time. So we're all charged up. You just put it down. Nothing more. It's sitting down. It doesn't flash. Now it's doing two little blips of flashing. Now watch this. I peek it up and I walk over here and I go, see ya. <laughs> okay. That's not the cool part. Cool part's coming. If you just let it sit there, it's going to adjust itself. Let me just fly. Where's it going to go? Just watching it here. I'm not touching it. It can't crash. Oh, it's coming back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, still going, still going. <laughs> Put my hand here, you see you can control it this way. So if you have people around, you can go, you put, there should be a sensor on the side and a sensor on this side and over there. So you can sort of play like room hockey. I'm actually controlling it and it will get fed up and start to go high. Now it doesn't know what to do. It's gonna come back, hit the wall, bounce over there. Now it's up top. It's gonna make, oh, hit my light. It's just going to keep on going. After a while, it'll get tired and come down to the ground. But if you had people in a big room, you could uh, play with this for a long time. And it has sensors on the bottom too. Watch this. I'll put my hand on the bottom. It goes up. I can take it up. Up, up, up. Whoa. Bring it back. So you could do this for about seven minutes of flight time. <laughs> it doesn't know where to go now. Hit the wall. This thing here just goes and goes and goes. Isn't that the coolest thing? Now, of course, if you use the controller, you have much more control over this. So let me put it down and use the controller. Hang on a sec. Before we go any further, let me show you what you get in this tiny little box for the price of a few coffees. Uh, spoiler alert, you actually get two batteries with this drone. Check this out. And now a quick unboxing of the Helifar H803. This is interesting. It says throw to fly and wave to control mini drone. However, on this side, it says shack to take off. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. Inside the box, we have the drone itself right on top here. It's actually a pretty nice looking drone, but I can't get it out. Get out of there, drone. Cow, what did they do, mold it in there? That's why I can't get it out, it's wired in place. This thing, they made it childproof. And of course, for a guy like me, well, that works. Now, the top of the drone looks pretty cool, but the underneath is even more cooler because the battery comes already in the drone. Normally, these are separate, so I just have to plug that in and everything would start working. But check this out. Here, let me just get my little pointer device here. That looks like a light. That looks like a light. Like, you know, like these are like sensor lights. There's another one. There's another one. And there's another one. So this thing here has got some sort of positioning system so it doesn't bang into stuff. And also for the ground. That is very different. Next thing in the box is the controller itself. Oh, don't tell me this is wired in. No, it's not good. <laughs> so there's the controller itself. And check this out. I like the labels. You have a little speed dial here for high and low speeds. That's your headless mode. Uh, I don't know what any of these buttons do. Oh, take off, land. I'm just going by what's written on them. Flips and rolls right there. And interactive sensing switch. But I do not know the spelling on that. Can anybody read that? Tell me what that says. Sen e ing switch. And on the back, this is where you'll put the batteries in, and you can see it takes three AA batteries. In the remainder of the box, you receive the goodie bag, and in the goodie bag right here, oh, look at that, two batteries. So there's one in the drone, plus a spare battery, plus four spare props, plus the USB charger for the battery. So you get one charger for two batteries, plus you get a mini Phillips screwdriver, plus you actually get a little prop removal tool right there as well. So that's quite a lot of goodies in this little bag. And in the bottom of the packaging box would be the instructions. So with all that paper, you get three manuals in different languages. Yes, one of them is English. All right, the battery's in the drone. Let's weigh it. It's got to be pretty darn light. 28, 29 grams. Go on a diet. 
Okay, I've got the controller here and I have my drone. I'm just gonna plug it all in. Now, one thing I have to warn you about, I just made this mistake recently. You see how it starts up and I'm about to use my controller? If I made the mistake and accidentally moved this and shook it, <laughs> it will actually fly away. No, not up. Okay, so I got my drone back. Now, let me show you that again. It's blinking, turn the controller on, move this up and down, pull these inward to hit the gyro, and then move this one up Get the props going, and there's a little uppity button here. And now you can fly it with the controller. So I can go left, I can go, oh sorry, go left, go right. None of the sensing works around here. It's all turned off, so you can do your normal flights. You have speeds on here. So this is slow speed. That is pretty slow. That's forward backwards. And you have another speed on here. There we go, I just changed it. Much faster. That's two speeds. I don't know if there's three. Oh, there's three speeds, okay. so. You could probably, yeah, you could fly this outdoors. It's much faster now. That's the fastest speed. And then back to the slow speed for indoors. I'm gonna put it on the second speed for indoors because I like to fly a little faster. It is uh, extremely stable. It's just sitting there hovering nicely. You see, I move my hand around it. Nothing works, no sensors on the bottom, the front. You can turn the sensors on. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Next thing, it has the little flippy mode. So I have a button over here called flippy mode. Hit the flippy mode. And there we go. So you can do flips indoors and flip them the other way in case you missed that one. There we go. And now the other thing you have on here, you also have headless mode if you're a beginner, which is much easier to fly. This is normal mode I'm flying in right now. And you also have the sensor sensing button right here. So if I push that. Now the sensors should work. There we go. So I've got them on. And even though I have the controller, I'm using the sensing system so I can't crash. Even though I have control, I can fly it. You can use the controller and the sensors at the same time. So if I'm a beginner and learning how to fly and say I fly this way and I'm about to hit the wall, it will not hit the wall. It's got obstacle avoidance. Isn't that so cool in a drone like this? I think it is. Like this is what everybody should have to learn how to fly. You just can't crash it. I tell you, this thing is awesome. Where was this like when I started to fly drones? And it's on GearBest. So if I were you, you gotta pick one of these up because there's so much friggin' fun. So I'm gonna put a link below where you can get it. Uh, I don't know if there's a coupon or a discount. All right, so I'm gonna turn the sensing mode off because you can't land it when it's on. Hit that. Sensing mode is off and let's go bring it over for a nice little landing in my hand. There we go. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up to the little pink lady and the pink lights. And uh, yeah, anyways, we'll catch you in the next video where I do more drone reviews of really cool things. All right, take care. Catch you in the next one.